Hi there. Today we're talking about open banking and denial of service again with Valentin Toby. Hi, Valentin. Hey, Nick. So what's the big deal with uh, denial of service and open banking? Well, since open banking specifications are open, then uh, it's very easy for attackers to craft uh, very accurate L7 DOS attacks. And since L7 DOS attacks require far uh, less resources than uh, L3 to 4 DDoS attacks, then these are really effective um, attack types against uh, pretty much any um, any infrastructure. So that's why it's very important to protect your uh, API endpoints. So anytime you have an API and maybe you have uh, a, a set of APIs um, and particularly maybe a web application firewall, it would be really nice to have DOS built in, DOS protection built in. So I know with Nginx, there is such a thing. So, uh, and you have a demo. So let's go ahead and take a look. Absolutely. So uh, let's take a look and see how easy it is to set up DOS protection with uh, Nginx Subprotect. So here you can see the nginx.conf uh, file and you can see that the Aprotect DOS has been enabled and we are using the Aprotect default policy file. So uh, here we can see the Elk dashboards that show um, baseline traffic uh, flowing through our network. And um, the DOS profile has an AIML model that is continuously learning what the baseline looks like. Also, the AIML um, engine is uh, monitoring the server stress. And whenever the server uh, stress increases uh, over a threshold, then the AIML model will compute signatures to match the attacking traffic. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and um, start such an attack. Here we can see a script generating a large number of requests. And uh, let's go back to our Elk dashboard and see the result. So here you can see a large increase in uh, incoming transactions on the client side. And you can see a matching spike of requests on the server side. You can also see the server stress basically uh, increasing. Uh, as you can see, we are already starting to mitigate this attack, and you can see uh, the redirect signature RPS metric uh, increasing. If we go ahead and refresh our um, Elk dashboard, you can see the um, server stress uh, starting to go down. You can see um, also that uh, we did unsuccessful RPS, which is a measure on um, how are we affecting the valid traffic. It's still zero, which means we are not actually blocking valid traffic. We are just blocking attacking traffic at this point. Got it. And, and, and that's a huge indicator of quality of service, which remains uh, high, meaning that normal requests and normal users that are sending their transactions, doing their normal banking, are not having a, a reduced quality of service. So a DOS attack in that case becomes completely unsuccessful. Exactly. So in this case, uh, the user experience is not being affected. Uh, by uh, by our signatures. And uh, you can see the signatures um, here on the Elk uh, dashboard. And uh, next, you can see the, the um, results from our um, attacking script. And uh, what's important to note here is that uh, from the number of complete requests, attacking requests, uh, the number of failed requests which were blocked, it's, uh, it's significantly wow. uh, high. Wow. Wow, it's crazy. It's, it's like almost all of them, I guess, what, maybe 2,500 or so may have gone through. Uh, and I guess they were originally the things that caused the spike, right? Exactly. So um, what this um, shows is that we are blocking uh, really fast. However, we are not affecting uh, user traffic. Fantastic. Well, this is a really great insight into uh, how Nginx AppProtect can be used not only as a web application firewall, but also an effective tool against uh, denial of service attacks. Thank you so much, Valentin, on this series. Uh, for more information, you can see the open banking page in the description and send any questions if you have any. Thank you so much, Valentin, and talk soon. Thank you, Nick.